More than 90% of animals can be found in the following nine groups called phyla. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Phylum Porifera. This phylum contains sponges, which are pretty basic animals with no specialized organs, but they are filter feeders that suck up plankton and other organic matter found in the water. Phylum Annelida. This phylum is made up of segmented worms, which include earthworms and leeches, among others. This is a large phylum, and in addition to having segments, these worms also contain a digestive system, most have a closed circulatory system, and a nervous system. Phylum Nematoda, the round worms. These worms inhabit some bizarre places, like inside your intestines, the heart of dogs, or inside wasps. Nematodes are very small, slender worms. Many are parasites, but others are free living. This next phylum is tough to pronounce, Plytahementhes. These are the flatworms. They are ribbon-shaped worms that can absorb food and oxygen through their skin by diffusion. Examples include the planarian and tapeworms. Many are parasites, and some, like the planarian, can regenerate a copy of itself if it is cut in half. The mollusks. This phylum includes snails, clams, slugs, squid, and their relatives. Mollusks are the largest marine phylum comprising about 23% of the named marine organisms. They have a mantle, which is a significant cavity used for breathing, and radula, which is similar to a tongue and a nervous system. Arthropods. This is the largest animal phylum. This phylum includes crustaceans, insects, arachnids, and some other organisms. Arthropods have an exoskeleton, segmented bodies, and jointed appendages. Echnoderms, or Echnodermata. These include sea stars, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and a couple more. They have radial symmetry and are found on the seabed at almost every ocean depth. Echnoderms contain a water vascular system that helps with gas exchange, feeding, and sensory reception and locomotion. Nidaria, or Nidarians are famous for their stinging cells. If you've been stung by a jellyfish, you've been stung by a Nidarian. This phylum contains jellyfish, sea anemones, and some others. They mostly have two basic body forms, the swimming medusa and polyps, both of which are radial symmetry. All of the previous phyla contain animals that are invertebrates, which means they do not have a backbone. Chordates, which is the next phylum, include animals that have a notochord, which most people call a backbone, and a spinal cord. This phylum, chordates, includes all types of fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.